honestly, I'm being fueled and remembering that that time when I didn't make the team in 2008 in Beijing Summer Games, when I first learned about the Paralympics. And honestly, it was the coach back on the rowing team who said I wouldn't be an athlete. And just a little bit of that is fueling me to show that there is no perfect size, there's no perfect timeline to be the best athlete and you can always push yourself. It's not what you'd expect when you hear an answer like this is the moment you knew that this is your sport because for me it was when I fell off the snow into the rocks and couldn't figure out how to stop on skis and from that moment it was so hard and I was just so frustrated because I couldn't figure it out and I was determined to not stop until I figured it out and figured it out perfectly. I was so excited to be back on snow and just racing cross-country races. The beauty of my sport and what drives me the most is that there's always room for an improvement just because you either got first, second or whatever, you can always improve. We're getting closer to the games and I've got all the butterflies, all the anxiety, the good anxiety, sometimes the scary anxiety and the self-doubt starting to creep in but at the same time I have people, I have incredible teammates, I have an incredible team behind me that believe in me and help me to kind of see that excitement. And at the same time, those butterflies, for me, I interpret it as it's my body is know what's coming, it's preparing for war, and it just, it means something, and I'm just so excited to just lay it out there on the snow. The process of how I was able to achieve what I have now, it started from the bottom, it didn't start out from first race gold medal, I really feel like I worked my way up the ladder and I think I'm just proud of the process and the training and the hours that I put in and the equipment that I use and where does it come from because it's custom made and especially as a Paralympic athlete, that is something that is overlooked a lot. Honestly, I think I'm the same person on off the mountain. I'm very competitive when it comes to training and it's the same when I'm off the mountain whether it comes to board games or just making the better latte art, except food. But <laughs> as my Team Toyota family is watching me, look out for just smiles and waves, but know that for me, my last lap of any race is always dedicated to my mom, but there is a lap out there that is dedicated to only Team Toyota family. And I'm thinking about how if it wasn't for them, I would not be able to keep pushing myself forward.